top of the major shift in which party has the most power in the state legislature. Today we heard from Trisha Cotham for the first time since news broke that she was switching parties. And we also heard from the Democrats who are frustrated with what her decision means for them. WRL state government reporter Will Dorn is live now and Will, what does Cotham switch mean for some of the bigger issues? Well, it is huge. Um, you know, Republicans only needed one vote in order to be able to override vetoes that Governor Roy Cooper, a Democrat, might give on some controversial issues. And now Representative Cotham has given them that vote that they needed. So then it's no surprise that Republican lawmakers in our state are probably pretty excited about this, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, they are over the moon about this. They're just giddy. I've talked to several Republican lawmakers in the past couple of days who say, get ready. There's going to be a lot of legislation coming. This gives them just more confidence now that they're going to be able to pass some key conservative policy issues that before looked like maybe was going to be a long shot, but now they're feeling good about it. So does this include abortion? I mean, ever since Roe versus Wade was overturned, most other southern states have acted to nearly or totally ban abortion, North Carolina being one of a few that haven't, at least for now. Yes, ab absolutely. Abortion is the biggest question here. It's also probably the most complicated one. Um, Democrats right now, they've said, you know, we might not win every single battle this legislative session, with protecting the governor's veto, but they felt really good about abortion until now. I mean, this obviously just throws a huge wrench into those plans and they'll have the votes to, you know, push something through if every Republican votes the same way. Yeah, Cotham's views on abortion have not been aligned with the GOP. Expecting that to change? We'll see. Uh, you know, she has actually been a really big supporter of pro-choice policies in the past. Um, she's had an abortion herself and actually several years ago spoke about that publicly on the floor of the House to oppose GOP proposals that are now law that, you know, made our abortion laws stricter here. Uh, just a couple months ago, she co-sponsored a bill with a bunch of other Democrats to actually expand abortion access in North Carolina. But we asked her today, you know, now that you're a Republican, would you be willing to vote with Republicans on an abortion bill? She didn't answer that question. So it's going to be something that we continue to watch. Coming up at five o'clock, you'll be able to hear that question and that answer directly from Representative Cotham. Will Doran live for us on Jones Street at the State Legislative Building. Thanks so much. And for all our state politics coverage, check out the NC Capitol section of WRAL.com.